Hi, I'm Steve Farber, and I'll be hosting the Extreme Leadership Intensive July 18th and 19th in Des Moines, Iowa. I hope you can join us there. I wanted to just break down this phrase, Extreme Leadership Intensive, and give you, uh, give you an overview as to what it means and what we'll be accomplishing on this incredible day and a half program that we have planned. First of all, the phrase extreme leadership. Now this comes out of my work in the leadership development arena for the last 25 years. And before I tell you exactly what extreme leadership is, let me tell you what I think it does. I mean, to me, I've seen it over and over again, extreme leadership oftentimes is the difference between success in a business and failure in a business, but maybe even more insidious, it's the difference between surviving and thriving. It's the difference between, it makes the difference between mediocrity and excellence. Extreme leadership, the more chaotic and uncertain our world gets, and it seems to be a pretty consistent trend over the last hundred years or so, it, it, we're, we're constantly getting more chaotic and more uncertain. And the more that happens, the more this, this need for people to step up and, and consciously and intentionally try to change things for the better arises. That's the extreme leader. So the extreme, the extreme leader is the real leader, as, in, in my estimation. Extreme leadership has got nothing to do with your position. It's got nothing to do with your title. It's got nothing to do with where you sit on the company's organizational chart or what it says on your business card. It's got nothing to do with how many people report to you or if anybody reports to you for that matter. It has to do with who you are, what you do, how you approach your work, how you approach your life, and your ability to influence people around you to change the nature of things for the better. That's the extreme leader. And, it, and it, this is a person who, in, in my experience, strives to take what we've come to call a radical leap, day in and day out. So leap is the, uh, the extreme leadership framework. It stands for love, energy, audacity, and proof. The extreme leader with conscious intent, let me just break it down for you quickly. With conscious intent, cultivates love, generates energy, inspires audacity, and ultimately proves him or herself every day. So love is the connection that we have uh, w with our hearts, our heart with our work, loving the work that we do, but, but beyond that, it's creating an experience that our customers are going to love. We want our customers to love us, not just be satisfied with us. And if that's gonna happen, we have to create an environment where people love working, an environment that people really bring their hearts to work every day. And as a leader, I can't create that environment unless I've got that connection myself first. So cultivating love happens on all these different levels, uh, personally, culturally, and, and the customer experience. Generating energy is, well, it really just what it sounds like. It's, it's about bringing the juice to our work. It's about the, the enthusiasm that we have. It's about the excitement that we create. And are we contagious or are we not? Are we the opposite of contagious? We're actually sucking the energy out of the environment. I, I would hope not. Our job is to generate energy. Inspire audacity goes beyond this idea of thinking outside the box, which is nice, but audacity is, is a bold and blatant disregard for normal constraints. It's the what box sort of mentality, uh, all with the, the intent of changing the world for the better. Now that could be world, like capital W, whole wide world, or it could be the world of your business, the world of your team, the world of your customers, the world of your community, your family, whatever, whatever it is that you decide to call world, however you define it. Love, energy, audacity, and then finally, proof. We have to prove ourselves every day. This isn't about developing new vocabulary words. This isn't about talking a good game. This is about real tangible results. So the extreme leader proves him or herself through the results that we get. Not only the bottom line business results, but also the, the results in terms of the relationships that we create, the results in terms of the influence that we have. And it's about the consistency between the words that people hear come out of our mouths and the actions that we do. It's the congruence between behavior and, and, and words. And the more we can bring those two into, an, into alignment, the more we're proving to other people all the time that we're not just talking a good game, that we're really in this for real. So that's the extreme leadership framework. Love, energy, audacity, and proof. That's the extreme leadership side of the equation. Now, let's look at the word intensive. To me, intensive means purpose and focused intent in order to improve uh, an aspect of our life or of our business for the better. So this intensive process that we'll be taking you through in this day and a half in July is, is looking at 
at all these elements of leap, but then not just looking at it and understanding it in, 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 a, in a theoretical way, which is, which is, you know, it's always fun, I guess, but it's taking it and turning it around back on ourselves and intensely looking at what are our own internal obstacles that keep us from doing these things. So in other words, I might understand the concept of audacity and I might desire to be more audacious. I might aspire to be that world changing person, but there's something in me that's holding me back. So what we'll be doing at the intensive is, is uncovering these, these obstacles that get in our own way, uh, not only as individuals, but also as businesses and doing some work on eradicating those obstacles, removing those obstacles so we can really rise to an entirely new level of extreme leadership. So what you're gonna walk out with at the end of this day and a half is, is a whole set of applications. So again, this is not a theoretical discussion. This is, this is about doing the work. So you'll have uh, a roadmap for applying the principles of LEAP, not only to your own leadership, but also to your business, whatever that might be. So if you're a solopreneur, you got your own, your own shop, you'll be able to apply LEAP to that. If you're running a bigger company, you'll have a roadmap as to how to apply the elements of extreme leadership to your company. So on a personal level, on a business level, on an organizational level, uh, it, it is gonna be a phenomenal thing. So I also, I promise you that uh, it's gonna be a blast. So very interactive, very entertaining, very engaging. You're gonna walk out of there with some great, incredible new relationships with some wonderful people. And most important, your roadmap to take your extreme leadership to the next level. July 18th, 19th, Des Moines, Iowa. I look forward to seeing you there.